Criminology subscribers. Today, meron tayong content request, which is The Radical Feminism from Mike John Mansueto. I'm shout out sa'yo. Okay, so, The Radical Feminism. First, let's define what is feminism. Feminism, the belief that women should be allowed the same rights, power, and opportunities as men and be treated in the same way or the set of activities intended to achieve this state. So, alam naman natin na noong unang panahon, ang mga kababaihan ay hindi nabibigyan ng mga privileges tulad ng mga narara- nakukuha natin ngayon. Right, like the right to vote, yung magkaroon ng career, makapag-aral, and then iba rin yung tingin sa mga babae. For example, ang mga babae daw dati dapat nasa bahay lang at ang mga lalaki sila ang nagtatrabaho at nagpo-provide sa family. Okay? So, merong timeline ng feminism. Merong first wave, second wave, and third wave. First wave begins in the late 19th century to early 20th century. So, they focus on gaining the right to vote and nakuha nila yon na payagan ng mga kababaihan na bumoto. Okay? The second wave, it is start in the 1960s, criticisms of the mainstream sociology. So, uh, dito din nag-start yung radical feminism so ang na-achieve nila is the sex the sex discrimination act of 1975 and the equal pay act of 1970 in the third wave feminism 1980s so post modern or post structural feminists criticize early feminism of focusing on white western heterosexual middle class women okay so criticize nila yung mga Nauna, sa first wave and second wave dahil yung focus ng kanilang pinaglalaban eh masyado maliit. So, in the third wave, they deconstruct what it is to be women. Also, focus on now areas of research. Example, the medicalization of childbirth. So, mas lumalawak yung pinaglalaban, diba? Nung group, or nung, nung feminism. Okay. So, maraming types of feminism. At i-discuss natin yung radical feminism. So, sana umabot pa to sa report mo. Okay? So, radical feminism are based on the idea that the main cause of women's oppressions originates from social roles and institutional structures being constructed from male supremacy and patriarchy. Actually, ang keyword for radical feminism is eliminating the patriarchy. So, in feminism, they describe patriarchy as a system of society or government in which men hold the power and women largely exclusive from it. So, radical feminists didn't concentrate on equalizing the distribution of power. Instead, they focus on completely eliminating patriarchy by transforming the entire structure of society. So, ayaw nila yung idea ng patriarchy na lalaki ang nagahari okay so sa anong aspect ng ano ng society ng politics yung mga ganyan. so radical feminism so this emerged with the beginning of the second wave of feminism so nakita nyo naman doon sa timeline kung ano yung mga na-achieve nila doon yung sex equality ah uh, yung anti discrimination and then the equal pay okay what else one of the pioneers in this regard was Simeon de Viors, the second sex. So, search nyo yan. Patriarchy is the primary and most fundamental form of society, inequality, and oppression. So, yun. For radical feminism, the male domination is the fundamental form of inequality. Kung bakit daw parang hindi equal yung pagtingin sa babae at lalaki. For some radical feminists, women's main enemy are men. All men benefit from patriarchy. In what way? Unpaid domestic labor and sexual services. In unpaid domestic labor, ano ba yung nandot? Kasi, yung, ang tingin nila, yung mga paglalaki kasi, di ba paglalaki, magtatrabaho siya. So, may sahod. Okay? Ang mga babae, nasa bahay lang, maraming ginagawa para sa mga anak, sa tewaing bahay, pero unpaid sila. Di ba? Parang, unfair para daw yun sa mga kababaihan. What else? Sexual services, actually the radical feminism, um, um, they disagree with porn 
industry kasi nga um, nagagamit ang mga babae as object para sa mga parang object para sa mga kalalakihan so they opposed it radical feminists emphasize the role of male violence against women in the creation and maintenance of gender inequality so radical feminists had been in the forefront of exposing male abuse of women and politicizing issues firmly considered as private um ano ano itong ano nila um noon daw okay, kapag merong away mag-asawa yun yung sinasabing domestic violence sa loob ng bahay so hindi nakikialam yung mga authorities okay kasi nga ano yun eh family problem but the radical feminists ay nilabas nila yung issue na to sa public para ma-address na ang mga babae dapat ang mga babae hindi dapat nahihirapan okay so sexual violence, the wife battering, incest, pornography, sex tourism and trafficking in women. So naniniwala sila na kaya ito nangyayari sa mga babae ay dahil sa pagmamanipulate ng mga lalaki who is in power. Okay. So radical feminist other argument so political lesbianism many radical feminists argue that heterosexual relationship are inevitably oppressive key so yung relationship ng babae at lalaki daw ang kadalasan ng babae doon ay na oppressed okay so they argue that lesbianism is the only non oppressive form of sexuality so kapag babae to babae nagaw naging oppression doon so hindi na papahirap hindi na sasaktan hindi rin napapahirapan ng babae so separatism isa din to sa argument nila because men's oppression of women is achieved through domestic and sexual relationship some radical feminists advocate living apart from men okay so feeling ko ang sinasuggest nila is wag nang mag-isawa so Jeremy Greer argues for the creation of matrilocal for all female household as an alternative to heterosexual family. Okay, so isa din yata to sa kanilang sa criticism doon sa radical feminism na um disagree kasi sila doon sa concept ng biological family which is my mother, my father, and yung anak, 'di ba? So, feeling nila kapag ang isang babae ay nandoon sa isang heterosexual relationship, heterosexual ibig sabihin, babae lalaki, okay? um, ang babae ay more prone para maging victim ng domestic violence or oppression. Okay? So, radical feminists, therefore, tried to, re- number one, rework women's consciousness. Okay? So, Um, gusto nila ang mga babae ay maging aware sa kanilang rights, yung mga ganyan. Uh, empowerment. Number two, reject patriarchal pressure. Okay? So, di ba pag other term for pat- patriarchy is yung ang lalaki sa isang pamilya, siya yung dominant. Okay? So, dapat daw ang mga babae, hindi ganun. Dapat uh, equal Okay, equal lang yung power din the family. Number three, establish sisterhood of trust. So, isa din to sa mga nayambag nila na merong sisterhood or yung mga babae is, is to supportahan yung bawat isa. Number four, support ap- appreciation and mutual defense. Okay? And number five, establish women-run business and institution. So, feeling ko in their time um, yung mga babae hindi pa pinapayagan eh. Or siguro iba talaga yung tingin tingin ng mga kababa, ta, tingin sa mga kababaihan nung time na lumabas itong radical femini, feminism. Kasi kung titingnan niyo naman sa panahon ngayon, um, kaya naman na nating makipagsabayan and lahat naman na ay nabibigyan ng equal opportunity regardless regardless of their um, gender. Okay? Number six, safeguard lesbian love relationship. So they are pro din sa babae sa babae na relationship dahil nga para sa kanila um, pag ganun daw pag all female yung family so walang ma-oppress walang maabuso Ganyan. so radical feminist criticism sabi nating 
criticism, ito yung mga backlash sa nila, no? Ito yung mga um, nakita ng ibang tao na problema doon sa opinion ng radical feminist. Okay? Number one, um, radical feminist daw, they all, they assumes all men oppress women, ignoring female violence against men. And all women suffer patriarchy in the same way. Oo nga naman. So, in radical feminist, uh, some radical feminists, ang um, iniisip nila, eh lahat ng babae ay lugi or napapahirapan ng mga lalaki. Pero in fact, hindi nila nakikita na meron ding mga lalaki na um, napapahirapan ng mga babae. ba? Diba, meron din namang mga lalaki na nasa sila yung nasa bahay and then yung mga babae yung nag-work. Meron ding mga lalaki na nakakaranas ng domestic violence galing sa kanilang mga wife. And all women suffer from patriarchy in the same way. Well, in, and in fact, hindi naman lahat ng tao or lahat ng babae is pare-parehas ng nararanasan sa kanilang partner. Number two, Marxist femini- feminists argue that it is a class, not patriarchy, that causes inequality. So, according to Marxist feminists, yung class daw in the society, ibig sabihin yung merong mahirap, may middle class, may mayaman. So, yun daw yung nagpo-cause ng inequality, hindi yung mga uh, hindi yung patriarchy which is sabi na nga ng ayon sa radical feminist, uh, mga lalaki ang may control ng power, di ba? So, number three, the liberal feminists argue that women's position has improved in recent years following legal reform and law changes. So, sabi naman nila, um, according to liberal feminists, actually, nauna ba to or yung radical? Okay, so, according to la- liberal feminists, uh, hindi na, ano to, hindi na relevant yung idea ng radical feminists kasi nga daw, nag-improve na yung panahon natin ngayon. Meron naman ng mga law uh, about equality. Meron na din yung mga babae na din. Eh, yun nga, tinuturing na na medyo panta- pantay, uh, pantay-pantay na regardless of gender pala and sex. Okay. So, number four, advocate separatism which is unrealistic. Um, o nga naman, kung hindi natin, parang sa radical feminist kasi sinasabi nila na hindi natin kailangan ng mga lalaki, lalo na sa family. Pero, unrealistic naman yun. Kasi nga, kaya nga, create ni God, di ba? Yung dalawang, uh, kung biological ang pag-uusapan, babae at lalaki, para magtulungan. Okay? So, that's it for radical feminism. Po, Mike, hello sa'yo. Sana umabot sa report mo. Actually, napaka-broad ng topic na to. Eh. And marami pa siyang argument, okay, kung pag-aaralan natin mabuti, but this is just the basics, basic of it, okay, ng idea ng radical feminism. So, sana makatulong sa'yo at sa iba pang um, manonood. So, thank you so much and to God be the glory.